What's up creators, it's Curtis, and in this video I want to cover our new Canvas system. It's a new feature we just released today at My Designs, And it's a very, very valuable feature that'll help you create print-ready files for any product we support and any custom type of Canvas you need too. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that now. All right, so I'm over here on the listings page and you can see that I'm in a camping collection and I have six different designs here. So I'm gonna to wanna to kind of adjust these, like the positioning, the alignment, etc., before I go and create print-on-demand products with them. So I'll go ahead and select all. And then you'll see this new canvas system up here. So you just click that and that'll open this up. So now from here, I can actually, you know, resize these designs. I can move them around on this blank canvas, which is perfect for t-shirts and the clothing we support because it's 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Now we have templates too, as you can see here, the sticker sheets, this is the six by four inch sticker sheet and the 8.5 by 11 inch sticker sheet. And of course our other stickers, but this template system is going to include every single product that we add to my designs. If you want to have custom dimensions, you can just simply come over here. For instance, I'm going to turn keep aspect ratio off do 2000 by 3000 you can see that that is there and you can just create the exact <clears throat> blank canvas that you need for anything now let me go back and just choose a t-shirt and I'll show you how this works all right so let me resize that oh that's too big all right so here we go so what I really really like about this canvas system is we have a sync button down here so anything you apply to one listing you can click the sync button and it will apply it to all of the listings you have selected so in this case, I have six different listings selected. Let me say, I, let's say I wanted to create a pocket style design and I'm gonna have this up here in the top corner. Now, of course, I could go through each of these listings and um, manually <clears throat> resize this, put it in this position, and then go to the next listing and continue doing that, right? Now, that's not very intuitive. Everything we do at My Designs is about bulk production and um, bulk automation. So let me go back to that first listing and let's say, okay, I want a pocket design. I want it to be up here in the top right of this canvas so that when it prints, it's up there at the top of the like a pocket on your shirt. And I'm gonna hit sync. Now you see when I click through these listings, everything is aligned to that position, which is really, really nice. It saves you so much time. So I'm gonna go back to the first and everything is aligned by the way to this top left dot, just so you're aware that's how our, our positioning works with the sync system. So keep that in mind. Now that's one example of many. So if I wanted to take this and create a print file that I could then go and create t-shirts and different clothing products for my designs with, all I got to do is create an output slot. So I'm gonna say shirts. I'm going to adjust that and we'll just click apply. So now that's created this file slot here that's gonna store that new print file in that will work perfectly for any of our clothing products to give me that nice little um, pocket style design. So that's already done. So let me switch over to that and give you a preview. So you can see here, got that nice small pocket style design with these uh, camping related designs in the perfect position. All right, so let's go back um, to the canvas system again and show you a few other examples. Um, I'm gonna go over to the six by four sticker sheet. You can see we have these different options down here. I'm gonna fit it vertically so it automatically resizes it and places it within this blank canvas. Now, this particular sheet, I could add multiple um, designs to. So I wanted to show you the duplicate feature down here. So I'm just gonna go and probably create three of these. This will be a good example. I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna make one of them small. Actually, we'll do two, one more like this. We'll do two of them that are small and we'll just put these two bigger ones up here. So we'll go like this. I'm actually gonna remove that and then duplicate this again so it's the same size. Put that here and put this one here. And now these little ones, I'm just gonna put down here. And that will go right there. And you can see we also have that snapping, which is really nice for helping you align things, align your designs. Um, let's say I like that. <clears throat> now I'm gonna apply it to all listings. But before I do that, I'm gonna go to the next. You can see that has the old actual canvas. So you can see it's 4,500 by 5,400. So what's really cool about this, once I hit sync, it'll also redo that. So now everything's on the exact same canvas size, uh, ready for this six by four um, inch sticker sheet. So you can look through this. Everything looks good. Now all I get to do and got to do in this case is just create a file slot to store the print file in. So I'm gonna say 6x4 sticker sheet and create this and click apply. 
And uh, when that's done, I'll show you exactly how that looks. All right, so that's already done. So let me switch over to that six by four uh, inch sticker sheet. Go to this grid view, here you go. You see the designs aligned right where we need them. So now if I went through the print on demand publishing process, I could use that input as that my input file for the sticker sheet, generate the mockups and publish these products. Now you can see this canvas system is really valuable. It's really useful for so many different features because now you have control over the alignment, the positioning, and you're not forced anymore to use 4500 by 5400 pixels on the original design you upload to My Designs because you can simply just open this canvas system and create that print ready file that will create it in the proper dimensions for the printers so you don't have to worry about any of that. Now there's a few other features here. Of course there's shortcuts and stuff you can play around with by reading down here. And we have more updates coming to this. This is literally just the first version. But uh, I, hope you, I hope that makes sense. I wanted to show you one more thing here. Let's go a little bit smaller. I'm going to duplicate this. And you actually can adjust the um, angles and stuff. And this is really cool. Not that I'd use this, but you can click sync. And you can see that all the other listings also inherit that exact structure. So that's really, really fun. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it for the Canvas system. I would love to hear your suggestions. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, such as the background color, um, which we've already had a one person recommend. We're going to add that in probably tomorrow. So if you would like to use the JPEG, output type, you'll be able to actually add a background color behind it too, um, which is useful for certain things. Um, other than that, we are also adding this Canvas system into the publishing process itself. So you'll be able to create these print ready files beforehand, which I recommend, especially if you're using custom mockups, because then you can then take that print file, go to the mockup generator and generate your mockups, and they'll look very realistic to the closest, closest to the real print as possible. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, and then also during the publishing process, it's going to be really smooth, whether you have 3000 by 3000 pixel designs and there or different designs that are a little bit different in the pixels and dimensions, you can then just kind of align it and position it where you want and create the products very easily. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. We'll talk soon.